Hello everyone, it's Gold Gear. Today with Rachi, we want to talk about a plot twist that we think is really excellent. First, let's understand what the plot twist is. It's a technique that can radically change the direction or expected outcome of a plot and it keeps audience engaged in the story. If you take a look at the Ratchet and Clank games, you won't find many game-changing twists, because the plots in these games are usually quite simple and predictable. They are not bad by any means, and I am constantly re-watching cutscenes from these games, because they are actually amazing, but I'm just saying that there are no unexpected plot outcomes there. Well, except for one game. Now of course you are talking about the finale of A Crack in Time. I'm assuming you've all played the game or watched some Let's Plays, because of course there's going to be a lot of spoilers here now. Alright, let's get started. So, the unexpected twist is that Alistair Azimuth, Ratchet's mentor and father figure, is actually the final boss in the game, and technically the main antagonist. So why is this a good twist? First, let's take a deeper look at Alistair's character. Some time ago, he gave Percival Tachyon full access to Lombax technology so that Tachyon could build and use new weapons to protect the galaxy. But after Tachyon finished, he used his inventions to kill a lot of Lombaxes, causing the survivors to flee to another dimension. Azimuth was forbidden from joining the Lombaxes, and after that he spent years trying to find the Great Clock to fix his mistakes from the past. From the beginning, the game showed us that he is not as clear as most of the other characters. He was kind to Ratchet and wanted to save his race, but he often used violence to achieve his goals. He was also stubborn and short-tempered, but still he had his heart in the right place. Near the end of the game, Clank warned Ratchet that misusing the power of the Clank has the potential to destroy the universe. Azimuth remained unconvinced, and tried to convince Ratchet that the clock was the only way to save his family. Ratchet eventually listened to Clank, because he already had experience with the Dimensionator, and knew what kind of threat such devices could bring. After that, Alistair got upset and flew away. When you first play this game, you will probably think that this is a classic trope. The heroes quarreled and one of them left but he'll definitely return and save others in the finale at the very last moment. And if you thought so, then you were absolutely right. When Ratchet and Clank defeated Nefarious, Azimuth returned to save them just before the ship they were on was destroyed. After that, Ratchet and Clank had a very emotional dialogue. They hugged and then started walking away from the camera, just like in the very first game. At this point, you might think that this is it, because the villain is defeated, Alistair realized that he was behaving indecently, our main characters are finally reunited, and Clank can be the senior caretaker as he wanted. Great ending, right? Well, it's not over yet. Alistair again tried to convince Ratchet to use the Great Clock, but when Ratchet refused, Alistair went berserk and killed him. Yes, Ratchet dies in this game. But don't worry, Clank saved him. The scene where Alistair lost control of himself and did this was quite shocking, but it all made sense. After all these years, he was still unable to accept what happened in the past and let it go. He was filled with guilt and self-disappointment to the point of being able to kill the son of his once best friend in order to achieve his goal. Yes, he killed Ratchet with the idea that he would save him in the past, but there were no guarantees. Alistair wasn't fully aware of how the clock works, and even said so at one point in the game. After the fight, Azimu finally realized that his ruthless actions could cause another disaster, and decided to correct his mistake and used his wrench to stop the time shift. He saved the clock from destruction, but died in the process. So why is this a good twist again? First of all, it's surprising, because you probably didn't expect the main support character and Ratchet's mentor to be the final boss, and who knew that Ratchet would actually die, especially after the fight with Nefarious and the seemingly final conversation between two main characters. And secondly, despite being unexpected, it makes sense. Alistair was short-tempered and violent from the very beginning 
We also learn quite early on about his stubbornness and obsession with correcting the past. So when he can't get over the fact that he can't use the Great Clock and kills Ratchet in a rage, it's not all that surprising when you think about it. So, yeah. It's a really good twist and a fantastic finale that added even more layers to this already great plot and characters. The game showed that the desire to correct our past can lead to insanity, and instead of looking for the time machine, we should learn from our mistakes or just let go of the past and continue to live our lives. Alistair was stuck in the past and thought of a better future, where he could fix everything, but he missed the present and ended up wasting his life. He is truly one of the most complex characters in the Ratchet and Clank games, and a genuinely great tragic antagonist. So, that's it for the video. Please don't forget to write your thoughts in the comments. Also, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. We are Gold Gear and Ratchi. Thanks for watching and stay gold. Sometimes the universe has a cruel sense of humor.